it's teacher Ava here and today we are going to be reading Elmer by David McKee. Now see this is a picture of Elmer on the cover and he looks a little different than other elephants doesn't he? Yeah that's right he's colorful he's patchwork. Now while I'm reading the story I want you to see if you can find another way that Elmer is different from the other animals and maybe how that makes him feel. All right I hope you like it. Elmer there once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they all laugh at me. One morning, just as the other elephants were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell to the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries this way and that way. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, None of the other, uh, other elephants noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky. Same old rain cloud. Same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent, and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the other elephants began to laugh too. <gasps> too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has the biggest laugh of all. <laughs> what would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third. And Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. 
If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you know it must be Elmer. The end. Not only was Elmer different because he looked differently than the other elephants, remember he was patchwork, he was red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and black and white, but he was also a little bit sillier than the other elephants. Remember, the other elephants were very serious and still and quiet. But then Elmer would come along and he would make a joke or do something silly to make all the elephants laugh. So much so that they made an Elmer Day Parade at the end of the story. And that is exactly what we're going to do. And what you can do is ask a grown-up to print out this picture of Elmer that I have and you can get some crayons and scissors, and I want you to decorate a picture of Elmer for the parade. Now you can choose to make it really colorful, or you can make it a regular El Elmer elephant, just like in the book. Now I chose to make some colorful ones. I did one with like some stripes, with blue and pink and orange and green, and I also chose to do a shape elephant. I have triangle, triangles and rectangles and circles and stars and you can choose to decorate your elephant however you want. I think that for the parade they want to be very very colorful but what, you, what do you think? And maybe you can even ask your other family members to paint pictures or color pictures of Elmo and you guys can hang them on the wall or hang them on the fridge and have your own Elmer parade. I think they would like that. This one I printed out, or I cut out. This one I left in, but maybe I'll cut them out and look. They're on their parade. All right, let's see how colorful you can make your Elmer. Have fun, bye-bye. Bye-bye.